Chapter 4, Club Titty Boo. What a wonderful title name after such a dramatic sort of event. What we got going on? Trains? Something didn't feel right about that. Three years later, Tasmili Village. So in those three years, you can see shit changed. Like, look at all of this. Also, I don't know if you noticed or not, but the little flashback, whatever, um, you noticed Lucas, well, obviously he grew and stuff. He's, he's a big boy now. He's like, I don't know. I don't think it's ever been established how old Lucas is, but let's just assume he's like 13 or something. I don't know. And here we got Facade. Ugh. I hated doing your voice and I hate you, Facade. <laughs> Ah, uh, here we go. We're finally gonna play as Lucas. Now you might be saying, oh, you're playing as Lucas like halfway through the game? Oh, you cannot be more wrong. Just because it's chapter four out of chap out of eight chapters, that does not mean you are halfway through the game. No, no, no. You still got quite a lot left. But um, now you're finally playing as, I guess, the main character in the game in a sort of sense. You're playing as the character that is known from this game, I suppose. He's the main um, protagonist of the game. And he's having a little flashback with his mother. Oh, <laughs> oh it's so sad. Oh, he's got his clothes on. So, I guess we just start going through. So, first off, what happened here? Hi, sheep. Or, yeah, sheep. Right? Bah. I got charred black. Smile. <laughs> what? Why, why the smile? Lightning is scary. Smile. Uh, you guys are crazy. What about this sheep? Bad. Wild animals are afraid of lightning, but livestock are pretty okay with it. What? That's horrible. And I left my air conditioner on as always. My bad for that. I always forget to turn it off when I'm recording. Anyways, woof woof. I can take you for a walk if you'd like, Lucas. And there we go, we got your boy Boney! Now, I don't know if Lucas is actually like... I don't know what level Lucas is, uh, let's see... Lucas is level 10, Boney is level 11. Oh, I thought they would be like, higher levels. Also, may I say, I love this rendition of, uh, Tazmili. I don't remember how- what it's called, but I love it. I really, really do. Hey, you there, boy! I realize this might be a bit of a bother, but please come talk to me. I have very important information for you. He's just gonna walk backwards. Hi. From this day forth, you'll be rewarded for your hard work. It'll be given in units called DP, Dragon Power. You can use DP in shops and other places in exchange for goods and services. It seems you've already earned 30 DP so far. You can save and withdraw DP anytime by talking to nearby frogs. Some frogs in special locations can't conduct DP transitions. Transactions, my bad. Though, so, shall I explain that again? Uh, no thank you. Alright then, let's try it out. Time certainly flies, doesn't it? Up. Oh, do you need something? Uh, sure. So we'll save. And then, uh, blah 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 blah. Let's see, do we have any DP to withdraw, or do we just already have it? Because I know, I know you don't get the DP from enemies, I know you just- Okay, there we go. So we'll just get that. Um, I know you don't get the DP from enemies, you- they're- they're instantly deposited into the little save frog guy, so... That's a thing, so you- if- when you fight an enemy, you won't get DP, but it'll be in your little storage- DP storage thing, whatever. Hi, old lady. Simple atmosphere, the shell of life- the smell of livestock and sea breezes. It's the only part of Tasmili that hasn't changed a bit in the past three years. What's going on here? You must really love being unhappy if you still refuse to get a happy box after all of this. Oh boy. This has Millie's famous lightning house? It's really incredible. It's definitely worth coming all the way here to see. Oh, so... It just gets struck by lightning, okay. Nice. <laughs> Let's see, we got the Yaddo, the Yaddo, the Yaddo, the Yaddo, Yaddo. Yaddo Inn is certainly improved. Uh, I love the theme. Although I will say I do prefer the old one. Hey, I didn't even realize there was an item. Can we? We can't get the item, can we? Oh, we can. Nice. Oh, trivia card one. Uh, trivia. The trivia cards aren't important to me. 
Also, because I'm not going for completion. I don't know if- I don't believe we can sell them either. Hold up. Can we? I would assume not. But, um, yeah, now there's actually money and stuff to worry about, so it's not just walk in, take stuff. Now you actually have to buy stuff, so... My dad is working over at the factory, so he left me in charge of the store. Would you like to buy something? Sure. Uh, let's- first off, let's see if we can sell this. Nope. Oh, Bunny has a bunch of stuff. I didn't even realize that. So let's see, what do we want? <laughs> we can't afford any of this! Uh, is there anything we can buy for you, Bony? We actually cannot buy anything, nice. Now, instead of actually just dropping the trivia card, I think I'll like deposit it if I have a chance. And here we got Facade, he's ignoring you, nice. Oh, Mapson, hi Mapson. If you need something from the map loving and map owning Mapson, it must be a map, yes? I can talk about maps, map, non-map stuff too, you know. Old Man West is definitely going to bald. Yes, there's no doubt about it. Bald, definitely. Well, Mapson, stick to maps. Stick to map-related stuff. You're certainly not that great at, uh, everything else. Oh, you can't get items- you can't get items from trash can- Got a frog in a car. Hi there! It's a frog in a car, oh my god. I love this game. Um, as I was saying... St stick to map stuff, maps, and you clearly, uh, you're not too good at the not map stuff, I see, so, whatever, I guess. So what do we got going on over here? You got some more lightning strike. <gasps> Reggie, no! Reggie's house! Oh, uh, poor Reggie. Poor guy, can't get a break. So one neat little thing you can do around here is you'll see there are these things. They are dolphin ossicles, something like- You heard a reggae rhythm. Ah, <laughs> okay, um, you can get these dolphin ossicles here, and they serve no purpose. The only purpose they serve is to sell for, I believe, 5 DP, something along that, something along those lines. Let's see, what else, what else, what else? I'm just exploring around to make sure we haven't missed anything, considering Tasmilia has changed quite a lot in three years. We got nothing there. Uh, let's see, what do we got up here? What's in this house? Eh, it's just somebody's house? Okay. Hold on here, any items? Any anything? Nope. I believe that's a save frog. Somebody's shoes? Oh, pig, pig mask shoes. Oh, here we got an actual pig. Oink. When I just lie here like this, I, f I can forget about all the bad things in life. <laughs> nice. Uh, I love the writing in this game. It's, it's so just... Weird, yet enjoyable. What do we got up here? Ah, I don't like the fact that, um... What is this? Ugh. I don't like the fact that they, um, sort of... Changed the, I guess, instrumentation of sorts. For the little Alex's log house theme, or melody that they use in the- And like, when you're in a house or whatever. This is just doesn't sound right, it sounds all weird and stuff. I guess we'll just head back though, because nothing really seemed to have changed over here. I was hoping there'd be like a, an item or something here, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Continue picking up uh, dolphin ossicles, by the way. Let's see, do we have anything over here? Yep, we got some more, okay. So, those, you can only, you can only use them to sell. That, there is no other purpose for those, so don't think, Oh, maybe if I get enough of these, I can do this with that, or that, that, blah, 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 that sort of thing. No. They're literally just to sell. What do you got going on up? Oh. Come on now, jo Jackie. Jockey. <laughs> Get real. Can't possibly be him. But just think about it. No one's seen nor... No one's seen hide nor hair of Duster since he disappeared three years ago. So they never found Duster, huh? It's gotta be him. Come on now, that's nonsense. Oh. Hey there, Lucas. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. There's this concert hall named Club Titty Boo past the factory, and the bass player there looks just kind of like Duster. Jackie here is convinced he's Duster, but he looks just like him. I really think we should tell Old Man Wes. Maybe if we knew for sure, but we'd only wind up disappointing Wes if it turns out we're wrong. The guy we just saw just hap the guy we saw just happens to look a lot like Duster. We don't know any more than that. Period. 
Anyway, it's time to head home and have some chow while I watch the happy box. He took the words right out of my mouth. I'm starving too. Why does Jackie always seem so sad? Look at him. Jackie always seems so sad. <laughs> like, jeez, Jackie, what is what's going on in your life, dude? You, you need some help? You need anything? Any items around? Hey! That's some beef jerky. That could always be useful. Let's see. What do you gotta say? Hi there. There's a plenty of. Okay. More items. Thank you very much. That's actually really useful. I believe the thunder bombs behind uh, Wes's house are still there, by the way. So right now we're just sort of exploring around, see if we see anything useful. What happened here? Poor Mr. Nippolite. Apparently lightning struck his house 14, 14 times over the course of three years. What? Jesus. Oh, Lucas, your old man's always visiting Hinawa's grave. Oh, man. Oh, it's Flint. Oh, Lucas. It's been a while now. You should go talk with your mom. Oh, you can't. <laughs> Come on. How do we- oh, there we go, I wasn't close enough. Wife of Flint, mother of the twins Klaus and Lucas, daughter of Alec. May the beautiful Hinawa rest in peace for all time. Oh boy. That's some that's some powerful stuff, man. I completely forgot that was a thing. So I was not prepared for that. Anyways, so that seems like that's all you can do there. Hey, fresh item. Oh, come on. Red roll, that m wait, 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 how much how much does that restore? 60. Oh, okay. I, th I thought it wasn't even gonna be that much, but hey, it turns out to be quite a lot. So, let's see. What do we got over here? I'm assuming the forest is still perfectly intact. What about this? Uh, nothing happens. I was hoping something cool would happen, but nope. The forest still seems to be the same, though. Oh god, what? Hi, what is that? A slither hen. Oh, almost got the 16 hit combo! But, what? What is this? Why? Why does this exist? I don't remember if we fought this before. I don't believe we did. But why? Why does it exist? This is why. So I'm trying to see. I don't believe we have to go through the forest, but it's just something nice you could do if you really want. Beef jerky. First off, let's see. We have any specific play- Oh yeah, yeah, we, we should probably go talk to Wes, because... You know, we heard of, uh, his son. I really messed up the combo. Come on! Come on, Boney, you gotta come through. Oh, no- Boney, come on! Well, at least he killed one of them. Now, if we could just get a 16-hit combo on this one, that'd be great. Come on, we can't get combos right now, apparently. Apparently, I was just messing up and don't know what I'm doing, but... Whatever, I guess. Let's go to the hot spring real quick. So, I might just, um... Level grind a little bit, just... Just so, for one, we can have a bunch of DP. And then also, you know, be up to speed with levels and everything, make sure we're all good, that sort of stuff. But right now, I just want to explore here. We'll go to where we need to go in a second, but I just want to make sure we're not actually missing out on anything. Also... I just realized, um, Isaac has a nice little modernized house now. Ah, uh, come on, no! I'm surprised I got a 14 hit combo, by the way, because it's been a couple days since I've played. And with Mother, with Mother 3, it's quite difficult if, it's quite difficult to get back into doing rhythm combos if you don't do them for like a couple days or so. Oh god, there we go. Luckily that battle ended before Boney took all too much damage. 
Anything else up here? Oh, what is that? Hold up. First, let me heal. Let me heal a little bit. Uh, what do we got that we can heal? Not much. Let's use the bread roll on Boney. I don't want to go to back to the hot spring right now since we were just at it. Thank God we didn't get back attacked there, by the way. Oh my god, that does a decent amount. Oh god, oh god. We are certainly not as strong as I was hoping we would be. Like, we are really, really weak compared to what I thought we were going to be. I thought we were going to be quite a lot. Oh, we got an item there. Let's be so careful because these guys, you do not want to encounter these guys. We got a Pisces bracelet there. Can Boney equip that now that I think about it? And I'll, I'll equip it on Lucas right now since... Lucas is a bit on the weaker side compared to Boney. Oh god, oh god, oh god. No! Dang it, I was hoping I could get a back attack so we could just easily take it out, but nope! There we go! Nice! It wasn't one single combo, but that was good enough, you know? And Lucas is level 11, great! Let's continue looking at what we got up here, making sure we're not missing any items. That's some peculiar cheese, so that might be good. I don't know if Lucas likes cheese, though. I know Boney doesn't, but I, I'm not too sure if Lucas does or not. Oh, we got a nice little mouse there. I don't believe there's anything else here, if I'm not mistaken, so let's go talk to, uh, um, what's his face? Wes. Old man Wes. Well, being careful on the way, because I don't want to encounter those guys. <laughs> Because they will kill you, just know that. They will straight up kill you. Let's hope we don't die on the way back. Because if we do, we're going to be in some major trouble if we take too much damage. Okay, okay, luckily, we seem to be at least doing enough damage to the point where we don't have to worry all too much about the enemies we're encountering. Uh, I was hoping we could avoid him so we could go straight to the hot spring and just go on from there, but nope. Come on. Oh god, we are actually really low on health. I didn't even realize. Uh, no. Hey, there we go. Boney. Always getting the combos. For some reason, I always seem to get combos with Boney, but almost never get combos with anyone else. I never understood that. I'm just- I guess I'm just bad at combos with everyone else but Boney. Let's just heal up here, and I guess we'll just go talk to Wes, old man Wes. And we'll tell him about the whole Duster situation, because apparently Duster disappeared, um, back when the whole, uh, egg thing went down, and he just was never found or something, I guess. So, uh, hopefully it is him. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. We just slid right through. So if I... I believe Wes is still in the same area. I was... I wasn't too sure for a second there. Okay, okay, real quick before we go there. Let's talk to this guy. Hi there, I'm the friendly item deposit guy. If you have anything you don't need or want to carry around, I'm... I'll gladly hold it on to... Hold on to it for you for, you for free. Jeez. This guy is a legend. Just... Whenever you have items you don't want to carry around, just give it to him. So this trivia card, for example, I'll just give it to him. I'm always traveling to one place or another, so if you ever, so if you ever need anything, just let me know anytime. This guy is absurdly nice. So anyways... Oh, I thought... I thought we would just go straight to West, but never mind. On the car. The frog in the car! Facade! Stop it! Quit ruining this town any more than you already have. There's something not right about all this lightning, especially today's. I think you guys are behind it somehow. Leave this instant. Keep your grubby hands out of this town's affairs. Why, hello there, Mr. Wes. You know, if you keep making the veins on your forehead pop out like that, happiness will only escape you. By which I mean your hair, in, in this case. In any case, I haven't the slightest idea what you are talking about. Well, it's been fun. Please be careful not to trip, get hurt, or go bald on your way home. Cease this violence! I'm no bug, I'm an old man! 
Well, that's a... Uh, that's a thing. The, the frog is just observing, basically. Lucas, quit snooping around me. Don't get in my way. Okay. Lucas, I really wish you had put that ha put a happy box in your home already. So you can be happy just like everyone else here. I'm always hoping for that day. Alright then. I guess we'll just go talk to Wes. Got a fancy new bridge. Any items around here? I don't believe so. Um... What happened? Special nursing home. Okay, what? So apparently they cha- Oh yeah, first off, the thunder bombs are still there, so that's always great. But for some reason, I guess... That's... odd. Okay. What do we got over here? Oh, it's this guy. Oh, Lucas. Did you come all the way here to see me? Uh, sure. Oh, okay. I was feeling lonely since my grandkids never come to see me. And since you were nice enough to come all the way, I'll give you a little spending money. But not too much. It's not too much, but here you go. Keep it a secret from my grandkids, though. Hey! I can't keep burdening Lisa forever. But I do have a happy box and nice-bodied girls like Nan and Linda to, here to keep me company, so I'm pretty happy in my own way. Yeah! I'm sorry, Mike, but that's called sexual harassment these days. Oh, God! <laughs> Well then. This is a hard world we live in now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, how disappointing. Mike, you, you need to calm down, dude. What do we got over here? We got Alec. Hi, La Hi, Alec. Oh, Lucas, how have you been? I've just been dozing off at it, um... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Who? I was just dozing off now when that really tall fellow at Crossroad appeared in my dream. Do you remember him, Lucas? He's talking about letter. And we got Wes. Hi, Wes. Oh, Lucas. I really embarrassed myself earlier, but curse that facade treating me like a bug, like a stag beetle. What? A guy who looks just like Duster? Could that moron still be... Lucas! I will now lower my voice and talk to you in a whisper. I hate to ask, but... I hate to ask, but could you go and see if this look-alike really is my moron or not. Sud's cronies are on the lookout for me, so I can't go anywhere or do anything, please. Go find that moron for me. If you find Duster, send this pigeon to let me know. Coo, coo, coo! At long last, my time, is my time to be useful has come! Alright, nice. Thanks, Lucas. I'd go myself, but everyone's on the lookout for me. Yeah, you, you, you kind of just told us. Let's talk to this guy here. Ribbit, ribbit. Sh sh shave your game, Sean. <laughs> I love the fact that it's like an old frog. Oh my god. Anyways, though, that's gonna be it for this episode. What up? Oh, uh, that's, been, that's gonna be it for this episode, so if you have enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and a comment. Be sure to subscribe if you're really feeling it. And that's gonna be it. I shall see you guys next time. See ya!